I finally got the green light to talk about the Versa, and I'm making this video to highlight a few things that I think is going to make this pump stand out compared to any other peristaltic pump on the market. Now before the Versa, you would have to have purchased multiple types of pumps for different types of tasks. Say for instance, you wanted to dose on a schedule, or you wanted one for precise microdosing, or one to run on your calcium reactor at a continuous rate. Each one of those required a different type of pump. Well, not anymore because the Versa can do it all. That's what makes this pump so great. So you purchase the Versa, you're going to be able to download the Mobius app. Now keep in mind right now, the Mobius app is only going to control the Versa, so don't go out and download the app thinking you're, you're going to be able to control your Ecotech lights and pumps. Right now, it's only going to control the Versa. So what's the first thing you do after you get your pump set up and you have it where you want it and you got the tubes connected? You want to calibrate the pump. So this is one thing I want to really, really highlight is <clears throat> on any pump you need to calibrate it, but a Versa has a step that you need to take before you calibrate it, which is called homing your Versa, or homing your, yeah, homing your Versa, or parking the rotor in the, in the proper location. Now, if you notice the, the animation there, it's basically telling you what you need to do. You're taking the rotor and you're going to line it up with a circle that's painted on this plastic cover. And by doing, or by touching one of these four um, buttons, you're going to be able to do it. The two outer ones are going to move it rather quickly. If you notice, Get it closer to the center, and then once I get it close to the center, I can fine tune it with the two inner buttons. And once I have it right in the center, I push the save button, and now the pump is is uh, saved in, the, in that position. Now, why do you do that? Well, let's uh, let's stop it really quick. So let's say for instance I'm going to dose 2 milliliters and then after the 2 milliliters it stops right here. Well what the homing thing does is it moves that rotor right back into this position so it backs it up and parks it right there. And what does that do? That aids in uh, more precise dosing as well as it prevents tube deformation which is a great unique uh, characteristic that only the Versa has. So okay so now that you have the, the homing set up or the, part, the, the home set up. Now you can come in here and you can calibrate the unit. What makes this so unique as well is their software allows you to set whatever it is that you're going to do. So most pumps is going to have a set rate of what, it, what you can calibrate to, whether it be 10 milliliters or 20 milliliters, 30 milliliters, whatever the case may be. The Versa is going to allow you to calibrate to what you're actually dosing. So let's say that each time I want to dose 20 milliliters and that is going to run at a rate of 10 seconds. So here I set it up to dose 20 milliliters, at, calibrate at 20 milliliters at a rate of 10 seconds. Now I don't have it connected, but you just have this graduated cylinder that you put your tube into and you tell it to go. And now it's gonna dose within the 10 seconds that 20 milliliters. So you're watching, you're watching as it fills it up. And then based on whatever your reading is in your cylinder, you go ahead and you tell it what it dosed. Let's say for instance it only do it dosed 21 milliliters. So you tell it, hey you thought you dosed 20 but instead you dosed 21. So now we can go back in here and test it again just to validate that it did it. And then you tell it to go and it's gonna, based on the last setting, it's going to dose accurately to that. Notice what just happened? See how it ran all the way up here and then it came all the way back? And that's one thing that's very unique to the Versa that you're not going to see in any other pump. So now that you have everything done, let's say you calibrated and it, it calibrated within the parameters that you want it, now you're ready to go ahead and start scheduling what you want. So say for instance, I'm not going to go too deep into this, um, I want to come in here, I'm going to set a dosing time at, start at 4 o'clock. 4 a.m. and I want it to end at 4:30. So it's going to run whatever whatever I set it for. It's going to going to dose that in the period of 30 minutes. So right now, let's say I wanted to dose 10 milliliters in 30 minutes. So right now it's scheduled at 4 o'clock. It's going to come on, and then within the time frame of 4 to 4:30. It's going to dose 10 milliliters. So how fast is that? If you can see this down here, it says it's 0.33 milliliters a minute. 
or you can come in here and I can hit the rate and you can actually see it a little bit uh, bigger there. So that's the rate and how much it's dosing and when it starts. Now this ketchup, I, it was uh, talked about on one of the videos that came out from Ecotech that when you have this selected, you're going to be able to, say for instance, the power went out um, and your Versa missed the dose schedule. Well, when the power comes back on or connectivity has come back together, it's going to catch that dose up. So let's say at 5 o'clock or at 4 o'clock or let's say 3.50, my power went out and at 8 o'clock the power came back on. Well, because I have it selected here, it's going to catch that dose up. That's something unique again in the software that the Versa has. Now, for the continuous rate, here it is. I got it for constant. And then let's say, for instance, my calcium reactor, I wanted to set for 60 milliliters a minute. So I come in here and I tell 60 milliliters a minute. And there it is. It's already programmed to continuously run 24 7 for 60 milliliters a minute. How fast can it go? It can go up to 200 milliliters a minute. And I don't know any any pump that, that requires or any tank that requires that, but if you have one, well there you go. You have it set for 200 milliliters a minute. And now I got it set for 10. So whatever it is that you want this pump to do, it's gonna do it. One last thing that I want to highlight, and this is just kind of a G whiz thing. Um, these have all Ecotech gave all these presets here. Let's say for instance, this pump is set to dose mag magnesium. If I click on the magnesium, if you notice that LED turns purple on the far left, or if I want it to be PA or alkalinity, see the, the color changed. I'm dosing, uh, this is for my top off, so it's dosing fresh water or salt water or food, calcium, trace elements, or I can come in here and I can do a custom. And what I had had it before is I just had it named vodka and I can change what color I like. So if you have multiple versas, sitting next to each other to say you got the quad pack well you can identify which one's which by whatever color it is so i got this one dosing vodka and vodka's red and the next one over is going to be for uh, calcium and the calcium is going to be that color so i can identify which one is which i think that's pretty neat um, just being able to change that led but again the verse is very unique and it, it's not like any other peristaltic pump on the market and well worth every penny so hopefully you like this and i know it kind of ran kind of long but there's a lot of unpack and i'm just so excited about this pump and i'm glad that it's coming out and you guys are going to get your hands on it